Travel is one of the main things that judges are looking for to deduct from any trampoline routine, so keeping it under good control is one of the easiest ways to improve your score in a competition. There are several different sorts of travel, including sideways movement, called casting, and movement in the opposite direction of the somersault, or gain. This video is primarily concerned with the most common form of travel, which is movement in the same direction as the somersault. At all ability levels, reducing travel is important, but particularly in higher level competition, it is the difference between finishing the routine and crashing out, as only a small change in takeoff angle results in a greater total movement the more time you have in the air. In order to not travel at all, your entire body should be perfectly upright and your arms up as you leave the trampoline bed. It's quite a common mistake amongst novices learning their first somersault or amongst more advanced trampolinists trying a new move for the first time to lean their head and shoulders in the direction of the somersault before takeoff. This can increase rotation speed, but often at the cost of travel and reduced height, so is not desired. In order to increase rotation speed without travelling, you should aim to create rotation by pushing your hips and your feet rather than by throwing your shoulders. This may feel quite strange at first if you're not used to it, but it is long term much more effective than simply chucking your shoulders into a move. Train yourself to not anticipate the somersault, feel yourself sink down into the trampoline stood up straight, wait and then initiate the somersault as you leave the trampoline with forwards vision upon takeoff. The same theory applies when linking somersaults together. When doing a backwards forwards link, such as tuck back tuck barani, it is common for the forward skill to travel forwards. It's tempting to land the back somersault slightly under rotated so that you can lean straight into the next skill, but to get maximum height and minimal travel, you need to land the first skill with your vision raised, your shoulder blades squeezed together and your arms up right behind your head before bringing them forward again for the second somersault. If when you are stood still you are unable to get your arms back behind your head keeping your elbows straight and your arms shoulder width apart, then a little bit of open shoulder flexibility training will likely be a benefit to you. When doing a backwards backwards link, for example tuck barani tuck back, it is common for the tuck back to travel backwards. Because the tuck back takeoff already has backwards momentum from the previous skill, if you make first contact with the trampoline with your torso and arms completely vertical, by the time you leave the trampoline, you will actually be lent slightly backwards, which will cause the travel. For this reason, you should aim to land the first skill with the arms and shoulders blocked slightly forwards, such that by the time you leave the bed, your arms are pointed vertically upwards. Demonstrated here is a very useful drill for developing your takeoff and landing accuracy. I tend to do the somersaults without shape so that I can fully focus on the positioning of my arms. Work towards being able to do 5 Baranis and 5 back somersaults linked and try to land as many as you can in an area around the cross at the centre of the trampoline. If you go outside of the target area, you need to bring yourself back into the middle again as soon as possible, which may require you to intentionally travel or gain slightly. This is a very useful technique for you to develop as it helps you to recover routines to the centre after unintentional movement allowing you to finish a routine strongly even if the start of the routine is poor. This can be achieved simply by altering the angle of your shoulders and your arms appropriately upon takeoff. Once you can land in the middle on at least 7 out of 10 of the somersaults, you can start adding in your shapes or adding in double somersault to increase the difficulty of the drill. You should aim to build up the links eventually to a difficulty which is similar to your full routine, always continuing to aim for at least 7 out of 10 to land in the centre before progressing the difficulty further. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it useful. If you did, be sure to like it, favourite it, and share it with anyone else who you think might find it helpful. For more regular updates, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, and for even more videos and updates, make sure that you like my Facebook page and subscribe to my training YouTube channel. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, please leave them below, and I'll make sure that I get back to you. Thank you, hopefully see you again soon.